Hello and welcome to the little rolling demo of my uh, Ascent slash Antrix uh, item creator. Um, I've made it for rps.org. Uh, my website, which I've got on screen at the moment, it's just a little uh, post that I've got up there which you'll be able to download this uh, application from. Okay, when you download the application, it will look like this uh, in a RAV file. It's uh, one EXE and two DLLs written in Borland. Um, and basically you double click the EXE and it will load up and look like that. Looks rather daunting and complex but don't kind of be too afraid. Um, everything's rather straightforward. Um, first of all we've got the uh, main screen with all the actual broken down parts of the uh, fields from the item in the database of the Antrix. Um, we can go into the options and actually see how it will export out. This is the actual format that it will be exporting to. Um, this was written for Antrix revision 73, which is uh, quite a old revision now. Um, I think they're up to 1,500 something now. Um, and just just one small thing you have to do, because we're going to do a rolling demo and um, add what, uh, import and create an item and actually import that straight into Antrix, um, is we have to add a new field at the bottom and that field's called UNK2 and because it doesn't actually put it in the right spot we just have to move it down there we go so pretty much that's modified the output of the SQL statement very simple very straightforward and like I said that's well over uh, like 1430 revisions and that's the only modification you have to make to the options um, okay now we have got a whole range of preset temp item templates that are sitting up here. Now, this is a good idea for people who haven't really used or made items or played around with databases too much. Um, it just gives you what the uh, you know what is previously in the database, the item, uh, item number twenty-five for this instance. Instance, uh, the worn short sword. It's the model ID one five four two subclass two class two. No description. And basically, it's a full breakdown of everything that's in there. Um, you can see there's a buy price, sell price, uniques, and everything's you know pretty straightforward. Um, the hit delays, inventory types, allowable classes, nice, very simple, all on one page. Now, what we can do is go down and have a look at another one, Pete the Phoenix, which is one of the flying mounts as it came out for Burning Crusade. Um, you can see there's the uh, Burning uh, uh, Pete the Phoenix. Uh, mounting code right there, the ID, the spell ID, and everything else is preset there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to input this one into the database. I'll create a completely random uh, ID entry, which is going to be like eight eights. Um, now, what we can do here, there's two ways you can usually use this program. You can either preview it, and it will show the SQL right there, or you can go edit save SQL, which will then allow you to save the SQL to a a new folder on your, on your computer or your server and that way you've still got backups if you ever have to do updates um, you can always import the SQL later on okay now we grab the preview and we grab the SQL that we've generated um, you can notice sitting right there is the uh, item number name heaps of different little things sitting straight in there now what we do is now we bring up uh, SQL Yog, a handy little program that is used just for the modifications of um, where are they? Probably somewhere. There we go. Just for the modifications of um, databases, SQL databases in particular. Um, what you do is you open that up, connect to your database. You'll see your Antrix database, which I've got there, my Antrix Natasoft O2. Um, I like to clean it, keep a clean database. It's always good just to copy and paste. Um, okay, now we go through there, we go all the way down, find the items table, just right there. At the moment it doesn't show all of them, so I will show all, just to uh, show you guys at home that there is no item 8888888 and all that kind of stuff. There we go. Now scroll to the very bottom. The last one is uh, 90001 Black Death. Now, that's a custom item that we've made as well. We copy the uh, SQL that was in the previous window from the preview, and it has all the values, all that kind of stuff. 
we right click in that window, execute query, execute all queries, then it actually states run row affected, uh, zero milliseconds taken, and that means it's, it's modified the database, it's included your new item. We go back to the table data, and it should, after a little bit, it takes a little bit to load because it's a pretty big uh, table in this one. Tick, 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 tick. There we go. Now, all the way to the very bottom because it'll be the last one. There we go. New item's been installed. Pick the Phoenix. Keep going across. And it shows all the extra little values that are all needed to uh, make the item work correctly. Now, pretty much all you have to do now is restart your server or just load it up if you haven't got it loading. Um, and it'll be installed, ran, and you just use the item ID that you had at first, and voila, there you go. And that's pretty much a quick run through of my TBC item creator. And, alright, well, I'll leave you to it. Don't get up to too much mischief. See you guys.